Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can perform directory enumeration in a better and effective way. Before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can automate the process of subdomain enumeration by writing our own custom bash script, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also for those who are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website which is bpractical.tech then you are missing a lot. So just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will be redirected to our awesome website over here. As you can see we have a lot of contents related to cyber security and web development. Let, let me just refresh it real quick and as you can see we have a lot of contents over here related to web development and cyber security like what is content discovery no rate limit on forward password pages and so on right and if you go to the lab section in the cyber security you will see that we have account takeover labs and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so in these labs you will learn that how hackers actually hack into someone's account because of the website's misconfiguration it may be a logic bug or it may be a severe vulnerability in the server itself right so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so just go ahead and play with it and learn learn and increase your cyber security skills now with that being said let's get started so in this video we are going to see how we can use dir search a tool that can be used to perform directory enumeration to find hidden contents right so first of all let us try to install dir search on our machine so we just need to type go to your kalinus machine and type sudo apt install dir search and minus y so it will install dir search for you but in my case it is already installed in your case it is going to take some time and depending on your internet connection right so once you have dir search installed what we need to do we need to type dir search minus h and as you can see over here we have a lot of functionalities over here now i have seen that a lot of people will simply just fire dir search like this so they'll just do dir search and let me just get rid of this dir search minus u and the url right so let me show you for example i'm going to use this particular lab that i have created to find hidden endpoints so i'm just going to copy this link and we need to pass it over here like this right and hit enter once we, we have done that as you can see it will start uh, brute forcing the directory for us right so if it got any directories with uh, 200 or maybe another 300 400 status code then it is going to uh, show the output back to us let us wait and see how many directories we may able to find using this particular technique now a lot of people will do the same thing that which i have did like they'll simply just use dir search minus u and just going to paste the link and hit enter so it's, uh, this is also one of the way but it is not an effective way what i mean by that is you need to understand your target in the depth so that you will be able to find more bugs and more vulnerabilities let me show you what i mean by that so as you can see we got a directory register we got another directory for which uh, is a status code of 400 and it is servlet something like this so let us try to see the contents behind this particular uh, endpoint which resulted in some kind of error and we got a uri error so it may be uh, some kind of vulnerability but as far as, as i know it is not that impactful it is only displaying the directories and thing else so we're just going to ignore it the second one is the register the register endpoint right so just going to copy and paste this let's paste it and as you can see it is showing registered and nothing else now most of the hackers most of the bug bounty hunters or cyber security researcher will left this left it as it is because it is not holding anything uh, sensitive right it is not holding any uh, html page or anything interesting right so it's it, from the looks of it it looks like a static page but as i've told you before you need to analyze your target very carefully so let us try to intercept this in our burp suit and let's see what happens i'm just going to intercept it and let us try to intercept the response and over here as you can see we got nothing but still there is one thing that we got a token header right we got a token header in the response so it may hold some kind of uh, sensitive functionality right so in normal cases where you see we have a sign up and login functionality so once you sign up to uh, to the application your data will get stored in the database right now once you will log in 
you will get some kind of token from the server right it can be a jwt token or it can be some uh, token or uh, something which is stored in the cookies right now you need to use those particular cookies or the tokens that you have got by uh, generating the session or by generate by authenticating authenticating yourself so that you may be able to find more and more contents on the particular server so let me show you what i mean by that for example we have found that okay we have a token parameter which is uh, getting back by the server so just copy this and let's paste it in notepad for now and let's pass this so again we got nothing interesting but in the header we got token be practical underscore type right now we are going to use this particular token since we know that this token has been passed in the header we are going to use this token as a header in directory search and let's see whether we'll be able to find any more uh, hidden endpoints or not so let me just show you so earlier we have uh, able to find only two directories so let me try to use the this particular header and let us try to see what we'll find so i'm going to type dir search and again minus h because we want to know that how we can pass header in this particular tool so over here as you can see we can specify minus h and we can just uh, pass the header like this right we can also pass cookies like minus minus cookie equals to the cookie right so now let us try to use this particular information to pass the uh, header just copy this paste it which was minus h and we got in the header what we have got we got this right token be practical underscore tech just copy it and let's paste it inside this single quotes let's hit enter and let's see let's see what happens after that and as you can see right from the beginning we got a new and interesting uh, endpoint which is admin right so earlier we were we wasn't able to find this particular endpoint so this is why you need to play with your uh, target and we, you need to understand your target so that you can able to discover more and more assets and eventually reach, reach to a critical vulnerability right so as you can see right now we got this particular endpoint admin let's try to see the admin endpoint and what are the content behind it let's hit enter okay so it has been intercepted by websuit let me just close it and as you can see it is showing that not found on the server why it is showing like this because we need to pass the header right just pass the header again header which was sorry it was token and it was p practical underscore tech right let us just forward this and as you can see it is showing that welcome you have solved this lab right so which means that we were able to find the hidden endpoint on this particular application so this is one way of using direct research to its fullest potential right so suppose that you have uh, once you have logged in into a particular bug bounty program you get a cookie in the response so you can use this particular minus minus cookie flag to add the cookie as well maybe you'll get some uh, different user agent so a lot of thing uh, you need to play with in order to understand the fullest potential of your target and this particular tool so use the tool according to your target not just use the tool just as you see in the video right so i hope that you have understood it and now let us try to understand why this is happening right so what is the uh, code behind this what is the developer's mind behind it so i'm just going to open my uh, lab file which i have created so i'm just going to show you what the code is nano index.tjs and as you can see on visiting admin let us focus on this code very carefully so it is checking if there is a request header containing token and if it is then it is again checking if the token contains this particular value which is be practical underscore tech if it contains that then it is going to send that welcome you have solved this lab otherwise it is going to show or send status code of 404 saying that not found on the server and same with the uh, last code that is the reason why if you didn't pass the uh, uh, header token you won't be able to see any difference between this particular endpoint which is actually uh, present over the server or any random endpoint right as you as let me show you like uh, if i just intercept and modify anything so we'll get 
404 not found right and if we try to visit the admin uh, directory again we'll be able to see 404 uh, not found because we have not passed the error uh, sorry passed the token as you can see over here right so this is the reason why it is actually very difficult to tell whether there is something uh, hidden in the directory or in the, on the server or not so this is the reason why you need to understand your target in depth so that you will be able to uh, create your own reconnaissance or own methodology of a uh, based on that particular ser uh, server or based on that particular target right so this is how you can use dir search to perform uh, content enumeration if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security and web development so the link is displaying over here as well as you can click on the link given in the description to join that telegram group now if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where you will learn that how we can dive deep into the web application to find uh, um, vulnerabilities that will result in account takeovers right so and everything is based on the practical scenarios so you'll learn a lot of things on that particular course and the second course which i am running is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you will learn that how hackers actually create their own custom payload and listener that can be bypassable by any antivirus how they can execute system commands remotely on a victim how they can access the webcam of a particular victim's uh, machine and so on and all of these uh, things that uh, i have discussed is uh, being done practically right so we'll learn a lot of things over here so do go ahead and uh, check out these courses if you want to and with that being said thanks for watching and keep being awesome